Welcome to another episode of VIP Interview. Today we're going to be talking about fashion and styling, and we have very special guest, the founder and the editor in chief of Slimy Magazine. Slimy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Can you please uh, introduce yourself? My name is Sleiman Daya. I'm from Lebanon. Uh, I work in the fashion industry. It's been 12, almost 12 years, and I live in Dubai. Okay, so tell us how you start in this field. I know that you study in London Fashion Co College, you know, yeah. so how you find the passion for uh, fashion? So I studied, inter I was studying interior design and uh, at the same time I was working with uh, Aishti in Lebanon as a visual merchandiser. Uh, after that, I moved to Dubai and started another career also in the same field. Okay. I see also like you work with some like major brand like uh, Roberto Cavalli and uh, Saint Laurent as well. Yeah. How, how it feel like when you you dream to enter to the fashion field and you work with this major firm? I already started working in fashion with big brands. Uh, it was a multi-brand store, a store in Lebanon, and they have uh, they have mono brands like uh, big names. Uh, after that, I moved to Dubai because I had an offer with Roberto Cavalli. Uh, it was a great experience, totally different. And after that, uh, another brand approached me, which is YSL. And it was one of my favorite experience in the, in the fashion industry. So how was the experience? Can you just tell us? Like uh, I learned so much from YSL and uh, everything. You can imagine about style, about uh, um, everything from A to Z, about cut, about a display, uh, visuals, commercial. Uh, so it's like a big, it's like a school. So it feel like kind of like um, magic when you see the collection before go to the market and the process of building all these things? No, definitely. Yeah, it's a dream. It's Fashion good. is a dream. Uh, either it's in the store or, uh, or in before like seeing it. Okay. And in your own word, how you describe fashion? Uh, fashion is the latest trend of uh, clothing, hair, decoration and behaviors. F and like we live in fashion, so it can be, we, we live in it. So it's everything we do is okay. like fashion is trending. Okay. And how you determine like a person's style when it comes to styling, you know? Um, everyone has his own uh, his own style for me like what do you mean exactly that? it's like styling is going to change by the time you know like you know the fashion that you're making clothes and it's always there is a new trend you know so how how you think style survive with all these changes listen style it's a, it's a way to tell your personality it's like who you are and it's about your mood it depends on your mood you, you style yourself and this is what style for me Okay, so what currently like trend you like you like most in clothing? You know, before you know, like when people like wearing from one brand everything. Today, people like mixing between brand. You know, so how you feel about that? I like mixing. Uh, for me, it's not about brands; it's about a style. Like you can do a rock uh, rock and roll style with uh, uh, low uh, and non non like no brands, and it depends on. Uh, it depends how you style it. You can have a T-shirt for like ten dollars with a very expensive jacket. It's it's the total look. It's not uh, it's not only where are you buying or what brands are you wearing. Yeah, and also like I know um, for a while you have the passion for fashion photography and modeling. You know, um, tell me about the photography. What are to you on the fashion industry? Uh, photography is a feeling, so I wanted to express this feeling into photograph, into photos and videos. Okay, so in the day of the fashion right now and development in social medias, how you find yourself using social media to tell your story, to tell exactly like how you feel about fashion? Uh, let's say I have an identity or DNA or different style that I want to just expose on my social media yeah, as well same as the magazine like we have a vision and I want to expose this vision on social media it helps that to, to for others to see us on more on social media and to follow us and to see the work of everyone yes 
And uh, I want to uh, show to the people, this is actually like um, Slimy magazine. It's a very beautiful magazine and there is a lot of things, unique story inside, feature interview and more tomorrow, like you need to find it. You go to uh, slimymagazine.com and then you can discover the magic of Slimy. Tell us like how the idea came on the magazine and what is the story behind Slimy magazine? Um, the story about Slimy is, uh, this, the magazine is based on visuals, on strong visuals that we create and we produce. So the idea came just because I don't, it's very rare to really to find uh, strong magazines that are only based on this kind of uh, visuals. Most of them, they're like a lot of interviews or a lot of ads. Uh, just, I don't wanna, I wanted to have an art coffee table book. In terms of the magazine, okay, how you work with the celebrity and the model, how you build the story. Tell us more about behind the scenes of the process of the magazine. We put a theme uh, for every issue and based on that we work and we choose our celebrities and our models. Okay. And I see also like you work with a lot of uh, celebrity and influencers and photo shoot. How you choose the model that you want to do photo shoot? Uh, based on uh, the theme again of uh, the mood on the mood mood board of the photo shoot, and also we focus on mostly on big names and uh, let's say good models, good celebrities. Sometimes, and we love it. Uh, to we're discovering new faces. Okay. And what is the feedback from the audience like when you just like launch the magazine? How you keep that communication between the fun of the magazine and then the uh, the, the the theme, as you mentioned? You know, we, li we like to show something new all the time, every time, every and every issue we have something new and different to show. Okay, so we, wanna be, we, I, we want to be the inspiration of uh, the industry. Okay, right now we see like everyone uh, uh, placing their image on social media, Instagram and other uh, things, you know. So what kind of tips uh, you give to influencer or celebrity come to you in terms of like how they start themselves, you know. So um, how generally work this? The, um, just like advice to have their own style, not to copy anyone. This is very straightforward, you know, Slimy yeah, is course. like straightforward, you know. <laughs> okay, so tell us about the future, uh, future project, like what you are working on at the moment, you know. Oh, we're working more on the website to have more content, uh, digital content, and we keep working with big celebrities. Okay, as a styling, you know, uh, which way do you feel and which one is like the best project that you work on that actually close to your heart? Uh, I will tell you my experience as a producer because what? we don't. I don't only style. We produce, especially with the, it's been uh, with the magazine mm -hmm. that we travel every time to a different uh, uh, cities or different places that we'd like to discover and shoot uh, there. It's a totally different experience with celebrities, models, and also uh, the, uh, your team. Yes. So um, uh, there is no. Uh, best experience uh, for me every every time we do a shoot it's an experience itself i i see a couple of like uh, visual stuff in terms of magazine and video content as well how you how you convince uh, the, this brand to actually um uh, work together to create that visual you know um, yeah. project because it's really uh, not just like as you said, not just like a picture or a video, it is a full story script, and then it's really like amazing. Yeah, yeah we actually sell the quality, not the quantity. So, and they're convinced and happy to work uh, with us okay. on this vision. Wow. And how you keep balancing in terms of brand, because you know, like a uh, brand is very competitive right nowadays. How we keep uh, Slimmy Magazine in terms of uh, competitions? Uh, you know, every I respect their DNA. We don't mix. We don't. Uh, we 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 keep it to the same standard of the of their standard. <laughs> okay. Since like um, you have over ten years here in Dubai, what really Dubai uh, add to your career or to your lifestyle? How you feel being in this city? It's a great exposure to live in uh, Dubai. To to live and work actually in Dubai. It's an international city, and I'm loving it.
Okay. What is your view on the current fashion and where you see the future like right now in the fashion industry? Um, my vision is always like I prefer to have to wear timeless pieces. And this is this is where I see the fashion industry is going more timeless and more like clean look. Okay, like personally, what is the most close brand to you? <laughs> If that we yeah, can share it with the audience, of course, you have your own preference. It. Yeah. Uh, for me, I love uh, Eddie Sliman. Okay. He's my favorite designer and he's now currently working with Celine. Mm -hmm. uh, I love his vision and I love what he does. Uh, he used to work also for Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent is also one of uh, my favorite brand yes also i discussed with you uh in terms of um, uh, uh, local and regional brand there is a lot of regional brand dressing celebrity and major international event and they're creating buzz you know so um do you working with this local brand yeah How? definitely yeah. I, i love uh, encouraging talent and work and feature this kind of ta like talented uh, local talents uh, i take a lot of uh, I always request a lot of samples and clothes from from them to be featured on model celebrities for the magazine. I I don't mind it. I actually enjoy enjoy working with the, these people because they, they are they are the new future. Wow, this is really sorry. <laughs> they okay. are they are the future. They are the future. Yeah, because the region <laughs> itself is really full in terms of color, uh, material, art. You know, and uh, you know the f uh, fashion is always go by route. You know, that always can be like one piece of uh, things can actually inspire entire collection. Definitely, you know? I get inspired from many artists. Can be uh, painters, can be uh, uh, singer, dancer. So it doesn't mean. Uh, Whenever, whenever I discover a talent, I want to feature these people. Yes, and also I see a lot of people uh, love your personal style, like yourself, how you style yourself. This is beyond the magazine. Slim is a very fashion person, <laughs> and he always loves to be creative in a way how he dress himself, based on the mood, as you said. Yeah, so I express my mood, <laughs> my my style, and also the way I like it, like I, very clean, as I said, and very minimal, uh, and I like. I like to dress myself in this way. Okay, Slimmy, you are so inspiring and have so much respect for you and for your achievement, you know. Um, Thank you. I really want to uh, give a message to the people who are watching right now and that are want to start a career in fashion, you know. Um, what is really like the big lesson that you learned on the process that when everybody may be doubting you and they said, oh, you cannot do this, you cannot reach that. What's really the advice you give it to the people who want to start in this space? For me, the most important thing is to know what you want and to focus. Okay. So this is a message from the man himself. You know, he, if you want really like you want to start in this field, you have to really focus on your own DNA, as he said, Slimmy. And you need to be original. Don't try to copy other people because you cannot escape the process. It's true. <laughs> and you need to work hard and And just to be special and different yeah than any other, be yourself others, yeah. adding value to other people you know how you how describe working with influencer people and celebrity um like how you deal with that you know because it's really like um you, you have something special mm, actually we're like we're being ourselves on set we deal normally with them they like it this way they don't like to uh like You, you know what I mean? Like they don't like us to uh, to treat them like uh, different people. They like they are very simple, by the way. And uh, we stay normal and simple on set, and they love this way. What is the other hobby that you like? Maybe music, for example. Like what what kind of music you listen? What is let's put another way? What is really inspires me? I love music and uh, especially uh, talented artists. I listen to house and techno, totally different. But uh, I also like to discover or to listen to a few uh, artists that they really inspire me in this, uh, like they're from their videos, from their songs, the voice. Yes. And also, um, I know uh, like you travel a lot to many cities. How really travel? adding something unique to your own uh, space, you know, because uh, maybe tell us like, what is your favorite cities? <laughs> It's always inspiring whenever oh, I travel somewhere. Uh, you discover new things. Sometimes I go to the same city five times per year and I always have 
different experience and new experience and i learned from people uh, get inspired from people on the street uh, or meetings so depends this is really amazing so um uh, for the people who are looking uh, for slimy magazine you can find it on slimy magazine.com uh, is that correct yes correct and also if you want to um, follow slimy on social media we can uh, give us where they can find you uh, the magazine is slimy mag mm -hmm. and mine is slimy 7 okay so please uh, check and discover slimy and uh, if you want to know more about fashion and styling he's the right man he's so inspiring and there is a lot of things uh, to learn from him please reach out to him dm him you know if you have time to answer <laughs> but it's really like something to learn from Definitely. Thank, thank you for you being asked for the show and uh, we're looking forward to hear more uh, achievement from your side and we're looking forward to see you in another episode thank you very much thank you so much Thank you.